everyone. Welcome back to the Law of Attraction Life Coaching Podcast. I just wanted to come online quickly because I've been meaning to make this video for absolutely ages and I am up to my eyeballs in, um, well, everything really. <laughs> and trying to keep, you know, a good um, self-care balance as well. So I'm making sure that instead of just filling up every minute of of every day that I've got, I'm trying to focus on, you know, looking after my own health as well because that's really important. But anyway, ramble, ramble, blah, blah, blah. Just had a coffee, so good luck, everyone. Um, what I wanted to talk about was uh, synchronicity and numbers, okay? You'll often see uh, numbers on clock or somewhere else um, where you see repetition, okay? And this sort of repetition for me started with um, 1111, so 1111 I saw on the clock a lot. And this, these numbers do mean a lot, okay? They mean a lot of different things, um, and they uh, give you lots of information about kind of different parts in your life, different ideas, different feelings, and, and where you are with your alignment and with synchronicity in life in general. So these, these seemingly minor coincidences, to my mind, shouldn't be ignored. And actually, there, is, there are no coincidences in this universe. There is nothing that's minor. Everything has a meaning. Um, well, it's not everything, but you know, things like where you see, if you are constantly seeing 11, 11, 11 on a clock, or you're seeing 333 or 222, or you're seeing repetition of numbers, you'll often find that there is some relevance and there's some message in it. Now, my pathway with these repetitions of numbers started with 1111. And this is like a gateway. Um, so the 1111 gate, the numbers 1111 talks about an opening to a gateway, to an awakening. And a lot of people are um, experiencing this awakening now. Um, we're going through quite a spiritual ascension during lockdown. Um, and a lot of people are kind of probably starting to see things like 1111 and are starting to experience these synchronicities with numerology. Now, I've always been fascinated by numerology. I've always been fascinated by these, um, you know, old uh, esoteric approaches and ways of life which have so much meaning to them. And, you know, they're sciences. They are sciences in some form. When we talk about astrology, you know, we're talking about science. When we're talking about things like hermetic premises, and, and yet, yes, we have new sciences now, but it doesn't mean that the old sciences and old art forms of trying to understand the world uh, just suddenly don't matter anymore, you know? There's value in all of it. And I think it would be very um, egocentric of human beings in this century to believe that you know what we see what we believe is the is the you know is the only is only the thing that's important so anyway the numbers and what the numbers mean so zero talks about the beginning of a new of a new start for you so if you see lots of zero zero zeros it's saying that you are in a situation at the moment to restart your life and to be able to move through a new process and start into something else Okay, so zero, 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 you might see zero, zero, you might see, you know, four zeros a lot, whether this is, you know, when you're driving a lot and you see lots of numbers that are always the same on registration plates, or you always happen to look up at a clock and it's saying that uh, number or, you know, in mobile phone numbers or whatever it is, you'll, once you start to look out for these things, they're, they're nods from the universe that help you. I mean, I just looked and it's 404. So, you know, I'll talk to you what the numbers mean. But it is important, there is no coincidence, um, there are no coincidences, and it, it, you know, these, for my mind, to my mind, when we see these things that we consider as coincidences, actually what they are is the universe giving you like a little nod, you know, your higher self, your higher being, giving you a little nod that actually the thing that you are, um, Whatever you're doing at that time, whatever headspace you're in at that time, it's a nod to say that you're on the right path. That what you're doing is right and that you're on your right, that you're on the right path, okay? So when you start to see these numbers, these synchronicities, any of these things, start to try and be a little bit more aware um, so that you can recognize what it is that you are 
you know, what is it that you're experiencing in that moment? Oh, I've got all hot now, like coffee's gone to me. So, zero, 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 you're starting a, 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 a new way of life that there is um, you know, a blank slate, as it were, that there's a blank slate for you beginning and where you are, what you're doing at the moment and that you can make a change. So if you start seeing zero, 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 um, when you're doing something that you're not enjoying or that you know, you're thinking like, oh God, I hate this, you know, you're basically being told by the universe that you're being given the opportunity to start afresh again. You know, if you're in a relationship that's gone sour and you're like, why am I in this? And you see zero, 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 you, you find that you're being given the opportunity and the chance by the universe to say that there's a clean slate out there for you. Now, the other numbers that we see quite regularly are 111. Now, 111 is the new is a new start. It's the pathway to to an awakening. It's um, that you're in alignment. 1111 is very much about you're in alignment. You're in contact with your higher self, and that you're on the pathway that you're supposed to be on. So the beginning of a new thing, the beginning of the thing that you're supposed to be on. Two uh, represents balance. It represents partnership. It represents taking that time to find an equilibrium. So if you're seeing 222 two, two a lot, often this is a reminder to take time for yourself to ensure that you are kept in balance. You know, a lot of the time when I've seen 222 two, two a lot, um, and it's during the time when I'm working myself to death, where I'm not taking time out, where I'm not using people in my life effectively because I'm like, oh, I don't need anyone, I can do it all on my own. And 222 two, two is this reminder that no, that no, you know, you can't do everything on your own, that there is a joy in taking the um, divine feminine and divine masculine and finding that balance between the two sides. So 333, three, three, three is the magic number. This talks about the fact that when, you're, when you see 333, three, three, that you are surrounded by, by the, you know, by the energy of source, that you have um, whatever you want to call them, source, angels, um, elders, um, ancestors, spirits, whatever. It's a sign that you have people around you, you know, energies around you from the other side that um, that is that is telling you that they're there. It's like, a, I'm here for you, you know, I'm here for you, not on your own. And it's a sign that you, you know that you are you're enveloped by the love of the universe, and you're enveloped by the love of your ancestors, spirits, guides, whatever you whatever you want, angels, whatever whatever term you identify with. Then we have four four four. Now four 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 talks about luck. It talks about having um, opportunity. And it talks about being in um, a state of awareness that will bring you fruitfulness, okay? So fours are a celebration, they're very positive, it's very joyful. And if you see four, four, four on a clock when you're doing something, that generally is a good nod to say that whatever you're doing, whatever you're investing time in at the moment is a worthwhile pursuit. Fives, so five is the number of change and of chaos. And change and chaos don't always have to be destructful. They don't always have to be worrying. You know, when people hear the word chaos, they're like, oh my God, chaos, you know, that's, is that a bad thing? Well, no, because a lot of the time when we have things that are changing and we're having things that are chaotic, it's necessary change to get us to where we want to be going. And so 555 is, is an important number because possibly you're taking time um, out of your life to do shit that doesn't serve you and you're being told that now is the time to change. So I, mean, I don't really see a lot of 555s, five, five, five. I see a hell of a lot of um, 222s, two, two, a lot of 444s, uh, four, four, I see 1111 pretty much at least daily um, and recently I've been seeing that a lot more, particularly when I'm working with my clients which is interesting, so I mean for me I'm, that's a real good nod to say that I'm on the right path and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but it's, it's, it's a nod, it's a it's a like a heads up like you're doing okay like heads up this is something you need to pay attention to and for me when i've worked with source when i've worked with these energies it's never seen me wrong i've never i've never followed these pathways and gotten to a worse place than what i would have been if i had ignored it 
okay and I think that's really important you know if you start to do these processes and it makes your life worse you know don't keep doing it because it's not working for you but for me whenever I followed source whenever I followed that energy whenever I followed my intuition and um, you know that joyfulness of, of, of um, self-awareness and the assumption that what I'm hearing is correct you know so when I get that intuition um, it's never led me down a pathway that I shouldn't be on and even things that I'm like no, because most of the time when I've made shitty decisions, it's because I've made them from a, a human mind where I'm like, but, 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 work, work, more, blah, 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 money or fear. And it comes from a place of fear. So coming from a place of fear always fucks your shoes you up. So don't, <laughs> don't do that. So anyway, where were we? So 666, I told you, coffee. Can you imagine? I speak fast enough as it is. So 666. It's a number of the beast and it's named that because something in your life is detrimental so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're surrounded by satan or whatever all that kind of bollocks but it does talk about it does talk about a detrimental energy in your life and so if you're seeing lots of sixes often this is a sign that something that you're doing is not helping you okay something that you're doing isn't helping you what is it let's make a change because six follows the five the five is talks about deliberate chaos and deliberate change because something in your life isn't working six is the next one on it talks about holding on to that stuff just seen 11 11 there you go six um six talks about holding on to shit that doesn't serve you and doing it deliberately now seven is a very lucky number so seven you know in the bible seven was the day that god uh, that god rested seven was the day was the number of man and so it talks about luck it talks about human uh, humanity it talks about um being able to manifest, so sevens, I, I, I love sevens. You'll also notice a lot on luck, like lucky number sevens. You know, why is lucky number sevens a thing in gambling? Um, because, because it's the number of manifesting. And you'll notice, go and have a look at scratch cards and things like that, because you'll find that there are a lot of, do you wanna go? Ah, these people, man. They just sit not paying any attention on the road, don't they? Um, you know, just let a couple of people out, why the hell not? You know, it's some good karma coming. So, sevens is the number of manifestation. It's a number of, um, you know, of, of, of life, of, of, the, of man, of things that uh, manifest and, um, like, material. Yeah, so you think about man, you know, man was the materialism of God and spirit. So seven is about being able to take God and spirit and making it into um, into materialistic, you know, something that's real, yeah, to make it something that's real. Um, and then we've got eight. Now eight is the number of abundance, okay? Eight is also the number of infinity, okay? So you see the infinity symbol, you know, it's an eight. Um, and and that's, you know, it's a very beautiful energy. The eight, it's just continuous, continuous. You'll see that in, um, you know, um, Chinese culture, eight, the number eight is revered. Um, it is looked at as being, you know, very important, a very potent number um, of, of being infinite, of being constant abundance. And if you if you work with law of attraction, you know that everything is everything everything is abundant. You know the leaves don't think, oh, I've made enough now. They just keep they just keep making leaves. You know the grass it just grows everywhere. Um, anything. Look at nature. Nature is naturally abundant. And so the world's uh, original setting is of abundance. So eight is this number of infinity, of constance, of abundance, of growth, of luck, of wealth, and of just, I mean, you know, um, nature really, I suppose, that continuing cycle of nature. You know, we go in, we go out. You know, we go up, we go down. This is this is the, the sign of infinity. You know, wherever we're up, we've got to go back down again. And once we're down, we go back up again. And it's this, it's this beautiful, consistent, constant flow of energy, of the ebb and the flow, the ebb and the flow. So then last but not least, we have nines. Now, nine is the end of the cycle, okay? So this talks about the completion of something and the movement into the, into the new, back to the zero. Um, and and what, what this talks about is that if you are, if you're doing something 
I don't get 999 a lot, but you know, it's the end of something. You know, it's the time to end something. That this is, this is, I'm looking at all the reg, reg plates now to see if I get any more sort of synchronicities, but 999 is the end of a cycle. If you're, you know, if you're doing something that isn't good for you, that you're, you know, that you, you're trying to let go of like a relationship or something like that, you'll often see 999 when it's at the end of it, you know, around people that are, um, have died or bereavement or anything like that. You'll see the number of five, which is a change and a chaos. But all of these numbers mean something. If you are seeing them repeatedly and deliberately and constantly and consistently, don't ignore these things. You know, it's not happenstance. It's not just done by chance. It is, there is, there is something and someone who is consistently telling you, um, yes, you're on the right path. No, you're not on the right path. This is what you should be paying attention to. This isn't what you should be doing. You know, if you're getting these messages, pay attention to them because they mean something.